All right, guys, we're going to do an Every Mechanic Should Know uh, video today. And uh, as a former shop owner and dealing with employees and students or whatnot, this is one little thing that kind of irks me a little bit, gets me kind of going, is that when a, a technician goes to uh, remove a fastener, especially larger dimer fasteners where they're not the common ones they've been using all day, whether it's, you know, 10s, 12s, 14s, um, half inch, 916 or whatever. But you start to get in something that might be like inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter or something and you're trying to figure, well, how big is that? Well, a lot of times what I see, back the camera up there a bit, is you see somebody grab uh, one socket, let's say, and they go over to the vehicle and they, they try it out and it doesn't work and then they come back and they try another one and it doesn't work and they come back. It's a lot of lost productivity. So let's just, let's come up with a couple different things that we could do to make it really fast and really efficient to be able to do that. When I quite often am going to work on something and I know I'm just going to maybe use, you know, a socket for this one fastener, typically I'll grab like a handful of them and then go to the vehicle and then be able to try it out. That's one really fast method versus 10 trips back and forth, okay? But if you really wanted to get particular and say, well, Shane, there's a better way than that, let's think about the different tools that are pretty readily available that we could uh, use to just go ahead and measure something. Very, very quickly, I'm going to use yours. We could take a veneer caliper. I'll just grab a fastener here. Let's say I'm going to measure measure this fastener here, and I just grab a bunch of sockets. Make sure I'm zeroed. I can go in here and measure this. Now, 1.500 inches, 500 thousandths, that's an easy one, right? Because mm -hmm. the, the big numbers like that we're really familiar with. 500 thousandths, uh, 250 thousandths, you guys remember what that is? Quarter of an inch. Quarter, uh, 750. Three quarters. Three quarters of an inch or something. So this would be pretty fast and easy. But let's say that it ends up, now not all of us are going to have this memorized to say, well, what is one inch and 187 thousandths? But what you do is on your toolbox or whatnot, have, we have them all over the shop here. You have them really handy. And you can see here that 187 thousandths is 3 sixteenths. So you have your one inch, one and 3 sixteenths would be the socket you would need to get. These are getting more and more popular. So you can see I have a metric scale and I have a standard scale, but check this guy out. One inch, 1875. What I hate is they take that third decimal and make it small. Does that make it a little deceiving yeah. Yeah. compared to what we're used to? So now check out some options we have here on this. Uh, well, our scale matches kind of what we saw before, okay? That 30 looks pretty dang <coughs> exposed. Okay, so it's right at that. Let's see what this happens to say. Check this out. It gives me the fraction. We just proved that it was the 3 16ths by converting the decimal, but you know, people say, oh, I don't use these cheap calipers, they're not worth it. We got our 30 millimeter, this thing's worth every bit of the, you know, 15, 20 bucks, where you don't need a cheat sheet chart, I don't need to walk to something else, I can very quickly figure out everything about that, go grab that inch and 3 16 socket and get the job done. Quite a few of you mechanics are uh, keeping your steel rule in your pocket, the thing is you got to practice and know how to read the steel rule, okay? You need to know what each one of these lines is worth so that when you need it, when you're ready to go use it, you're going to be able to use it uh, quickly. On these steel rules or anything we read in the English language, we read what direction? Right to right. Left to right, right? We read it like a book. All right, here's one of those perfect examples of know your tools. This one here does not read like we normally think it would. This reads from right to left because obviously when it's closed it would be zero and then you'd need to uh, open it up and you could see uh, um, see what this reading actually is. So the faster we're trying to take off is less than what? Okay. This also tells you how wide the jaws will open on this. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here's something else I could do. Let's just pretend that your, your crescent <coughs> wrench, let's just pretend that yours does not have the scale on it. So now I could just take my digital one though as a transfer tool I could go ahead 
and find out the fastener that we're trying to actually work with, we need a 22 millimeter. They don't make a 22 and a half socket. If it was 22.7 or 8, what size socket would you get? 22. 23. But since it's 22 and a half here, and that's rough, I could probably fine tune it a little bit. Um, once again, every mechanic should know, let's kind of summarize this. We are trying to be diligent with our time to reduce stress, right? When you're, when, you know, you get to the end of that project that day and you're thinking about, boy, what I wouldn't have given right now for five more minutes here, five more minutes, five more minutes here. Get rid of the stupid stuff. Get rid of the, you know, million trips. You know, think, how can I organize things? Think, how can I be prepared? Because no matter what, if you take a look at this bench, we're going to start to assemble this. I've just kind of made it uh, a little messy compared to what we got going on. You see our little totes? and our little intention of what we plan to work on. I don't have the primaries on the bench. I don't have stuff that I don't need like the rockers. Right now, I'm just going to focus on this. That's going to speed me up. I'm going to be able to be faster at that. I've made an attempt to put a bunch of the common tools that I think I'm going to use on the bench and, you know, ready to go. You know, speed wrenches, rubber mallets, you know, massagers, right? Isn't that what these are? You know, mechanical massagers, okay? I, it's, just, it's just trying to, to think ahead. But the reality of it is, and why I made this video, is you're going to overlook a fastener or something. You're going to forget about it. How can you go get it quick, be effective, and uh, make it great? So keep on wrenching, and that's our tip for every mechanic should know today. When I think about this, uh, quite often in teaching, and I'm surprised uh, someone doesn't know something, um, I got to remember something. Everybody has a first day. And uh, even as I was talking to students about this, I was thinking about how many times early on in my career I was that guy that, you know, walked across, grabbed one, walked back, you know, didn't fit, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, <clears throat> you know, and then I don't honestly think it was until I owned a shop that productivity, you know, time, everything became a lot more important. So I also know that, you know, I, I wasn't encouraged or taught these things. You know, it wasn't something that mattered uh, from uh, the way I learned things early on. And so you just get to this point in your life where you start to think about um, things a little bit differently. And I think a good example of this, I always tell my students, I say, hey, open up your wallet. Let's see what that uh, would look like. If we're, you know, 50 bucks an hour, you know, flat rate, and we've just wasted, you know, three hours in a week, you know, doing frivolous, you know, inefficient things, you know, would you be willing to take $150 out of your pocket? And I think mentality, you know, just starts to make a shift when you when you look at things that way. Another good example would be, uh, let's forget the money thing, okay? Let's just think about uh, time. And if I said, okay, we're going to waste three hours this week doing nothing, walking around, this and that, checking your phones, uh, you know, playing on Facebook, whatever, when you shouldn't be. Uh, if that time could be spent with family or friends, and you and you budgeted that time, you think about what would be uh, what would be more practical or what would be uh, better for you. I think all of us, all every single one of us, would uh, love more time with family or friends or doing something we want to do versus doing nothing. So a lot of these tips and, and points here, they aren't just about money. They're about speeding up that time. And let's remember something else. I mean, I think the people watching these videos um, strive for excellence and strive to be better. So the reality of it is, is that, you know, uh, the more we can reduce this wasted time and that we can uh, spend more time wrenching, we're going to be more profitable, spend more time doing things we like. And we're going to be able to uh, get more of these vehicles fixed to get back into our customers' hands so they can do what we love. And why we're in this business is because we love two wheels. So keep on wrenching and uh, keep striving to be excellent. Uh, I know I'm trying every day. So have a great day.